Hey, Digitrails here, and do you like working with redstone, but not always the best redstone around the block? And do your friends who are better at you than redstone like to hoard it over you? Well, I got some redstone clocks that can mess with those redstoners because they work, but they don't always look like they work, but they do. So it just messes with your friends on a slightly fundamental level. And you know what? When it comes to messing with your friends, that's the best way to mess with them. Now, it's not going to be like this Etho Hopper clock that's behind you that works efficiently and works accurately every time. Because what's the fun in that? Because at that point, you're building something to actually have it work. But let me show you what I got in store. So I got these five clocks in front of us, they'll send out a tick at a time, not accurately every time, at accurate amounts of time, but let me show you them. This is a piston observer clock. This is often used sometimes in zero tick farms, but basically all you need to do is prime it with this button right here. And it will get going. This would be good for droppers and dispensers um, because they are able to react to these types of ticks. Um, but experimentation is great. Uh, right now, I'm basically just turning it off by pressing the, uh, by destroying the redstone. But other types of devices may be able to react to us. I wouldn't put anything like a um, light or a. Um, repeater there because they can't really take a zero tick that much but as i said droppers and dispensers are amazing for this next we have the cluck clock the cluck clock feeds eggs into hoppers that go down into a dispenser the dispenser feeds out into a comparator the comparator is read by these two observers that then push out into redstone dust that goes into the target that and then pushes out into the dispenser. Build this however you like, but basically feed out into either take a reading off of either the redstone dust or any of these pieces, and you are golden. Um, and it'll push it out whenever the the chickens lay the eggs. The chickens will, if you want more of a signal, faster, put in more chickens, want it to go slower. Less chickens. It is um, going to be moddable, however you feel. It's just powered by more or less chickens. And it is also a food supply. Multi purposeful. Right, the next one. Next, we have the sundial. The sundial reads off the sun and basically puts out incremental redstone pulses. You have a nighttime sensor and a daylight sensor that both have redstone comparators out of it, that both have redstone dust in front of it. Then you put basically a observer in front of it, repeaters, redstone dust. And then you'll then have a regular clock output. And that way, you're pretty much going to be good to go in that regards pretty straightforward and pretty cheap and again it'll just confuse them on to a really really cheap one that requires very little redstone introducing what i'm calling the workday clock villager inside of a little bit of a chamber with a pressure plate and redstone dust in between their bed and the workstation. As they decide to walk between each, it puts out a redstone pulse. And then poke it up to your contraption and off to the races. They'll put it out as they walk in between and you're good to go. It'll be a slow pulse, but if you want more, just put more chambers and hopefully you'll get a faster pulse. It isn't an accurate science. It, it really isn't. Finally, 
I'd like to introduce you to the manual clock. Just spin the clock and you'll have, well, redstone pulses. Pretty straightforward. How does it work? Behind the item frame, you have the ferreter, putting out to redstone dust, observer, and then some more redstone dust, and I put a repeater there for good measure. And again, to mess with your friends, put a clock there for good measure. And when they go, oh, where's your redstone clock? You go, oh, it's right here. This is how I've been working my contraptions. And just sit there and just spin it. It'll just confuse them. It may mess with them. And they just keep spinning. And just keep spinning. I hope this helps you. I hope it annoys a couple of your friends. And remember, if you're going to mess with some of your friends, do it safely. Do it wisely. And if you're going to do it, do it on a level that's something like this. And remember, when you're in the digital trails, watch out for digital bears. See you, everyone.